one of the more excited new Blue Jays. I mean, he's like a kid in the candy store. Here comes Kiermaier on the run. He got it. Kiermaier back with a leap and a grab. Kevin Kiermaier, that's what he does. You do not see guys like this come along with this work ethic, this talent. He was one of those guys that just beat the odds at every stage. Kevin, you were drafted in the 31st round. So when you think about the 940 names that were chosen ahead of you, how did that shape the way you work towards your ultimate goal? Well, it was weird because when I got drafted, it was an opportunity of a right. lifetime. It's a great thing. But right away, I had a chip on my shoulder because I'm like, I was told, long story short, I was told that I was going to get drafted in like the 8th to 15th round. Small Juco in the Midwest, I, under, I understand what I was up against. Um, but I feel like I had a lot of tools. And once again, I was like, wow, I'm the 941st pick. I had a chip on my shoulder immediately, but then I was like, you know what? All I need is an opportunity, and I truly believe that. I never intended to play professional baseball, never wanted to play pro. I didn't know where, where my life was going in high school. I just was like a rolling stone. Uh, I was either going to play baseball or football. I didn't know which it was just going to be like, let's go do it to try to get some of a scholarship. So I ended up going to my JUCO. And then one night in December, right before Christmas break, I'll never forget it, changed my life forever. Um, we're in the gym from 9 to 11. We had the late slot always. We had to wear it. Snow on the ground, but we're just hitting tennis balls into a net and there's an older guy in the corner just kind of watching, and no one really paid attention. We finished practice, and as I'm walking out of the gym, he, the guy approaches me and, and has a card in his hand. He goes, hey, Tom Couston, Tampa Bay Rays, I love the way you move. We'll be in touch. And when I saw that card from a pro scout, something flipped in my head, and I, I swear from that moment right there, I said, I'm gonna see how good I can get at baseball. Like he just lit a fire to me and it was a, a life-changing moment I'll never forget. And I went home that night, ran sprints in my parking lot at my apartment complex <laughs> and I was just obsessed with seeing how good I can get, end up getting drafted and I've, I've kept that same drive throughout my whole career. You mentioned Tom Couston. He describes you as a baseball rat. When you hear that, what does that term mean to you? Obsessed with working on my craft. Um, I love it. I love everything about it. I am I'm obsessed with baseball. Kiermaier can rove center field with the best of them. There's so many things he does to you that don't show up in the stat line. Kevin Kiermaier, arguably the best defender at any position in the game. If you don't think that man has passion for the game, he is the hardest working man in baseball. I ask a lot of guys this question. At some point in your journey, did anything ever happen? Did any kind of doubt creep into your mind and you're thinking to myself, you know, maybe this isn't the road for me? Yeah, very early. Um, rookie ball, I remember before my first game, I stepped in for a live batting practice and I faced a Dominican guy throwing 98, painted a fastball away and I didn't see it at all. And I remember walking out of the cage after probably struck out I was like, oh boy, if this is what it's going to be like. I don't know if I signed up for, I don't know what I signed up for, but uh, shortly into my career, I knew, I knew I belonged. But there was a couple other times throughout my career, I'm like, quite, you know, am I, I can play defense and run the base with anyone, but you got to hit. And for me, it's always been the hardest part about my game, the thing that's just never come natural to me. And I always knew, I'm like, okay, if I can just do enough and, and just be a competitive out and, and just, know my role, do what I can. I know I can make a career. Uh, so it all came down to offense for me. And, and here I am, 12 years into pro ball, still learning, trying to be the best version of myself I can be. And now I feel like I'm the oldest I've ever am, the smartest I ever am. And uh, I can't wait to put everything I've learned over the last 12 years on display for this 2023 season and be the best version of Kevin Kiermaier ever for the Toronto Blue Jays. Kiermaier, he'll poke it inside the third base bag and watch those Jets. Tremendous approach every single game. This is what you're going to get from Kevin Kiermaier on a regular basis. Well, Kevin Kiermaier officially 
welcome aboard. I know Blue Jays fans are just thrilled to see you in Thank a Blue you. Jays uniform. Thrilled to be here. Ready to win. Time is now.